Tanguroa is the son of Papatuwanuku, the Earth Mother, and Ranganui, the Sky Father, in the most well-known Maori creation story, however, according to other legends, Tanguroa is the husband of Papatuwanuku and a rival of Ranganui. Water is a complicated concept in Maori culture. Many Maori people believe that water is a living being, it has energy and spirit, and it is also the driving force behind all life. It has many moods, just like any other living thing. It can be peaceful and life-giving, or it can be dangerous and destructive. It is very important to the Maori people, because it is not only a source of food, but also has spiritual significance. The sons of Rangi and Papa conspire to separate them in the Maori creation story, so that they can grow and live separately. The brothers are eventually victorious, but one of them, Tahiri Matia, is so devastated at the betrayal of his parents, that he turns on the others. Tanguroa is forced to flee into the sea to avoid Tahiri Matia's wrath. Tanguroa's domain has since become the ocean. He fathered many sea creatures, and his son, Punga, had two children, Ikatera, the fish ancestor, and Tuti Wehiwi, also known as Tuti Wanoana, the reptile ancestor. Tanguroa's feud with Tahiri Matia is not the only one. While the fish hid in the sea with him, the reptiles made their way to the forest. The domain of Tanguroa's brother, Tane Mahota, the forest guardian. The legend exemplifies the Maori understanding of the ocean-land relationship. They are viewed as opposing forces. So much so that when Maori sailors used to sail away, they would always make offerings to Tanguroa before setting sail. Humans are land creatures, so they must exercise caution when venturing into the realm of the sea. Tanguroa ruled his realm with a specific set of laws. He said, Tiaki mai aho, makuano koe tiaki, meaning, if you look after me, then I will look after you. 